All right, so here I have data with names and donations. And in some of the cells, the name is not there. But here I want to sum donation amount for all the cells where I have name. So that means I'm going to sum values for non-blank cells. So for this, I'm going to use the sum if function. And in the range criteria, I'm going to specify the column A, the range A to A13, where I have names. And in the criteria, because I want to sum based on the cells which are not blank. So I'm going to use a not equals to operator, that is the combination of lower than and greater than. And in the sum range, I'm going to specify the column B, the range B2 to B13. And now, the moment I hit enter, it returns me the sum of all the cells where I have a name. But there is a one basic problem with this formula. Now, when I go to the cell A4, I have a blank space here. And that means the sum that I have here is not correct. So it, it is including this cell as well, where I have a space, but I don't have a name. So now to deal with this kind of problem, I need to rewrite this formula in a different way. So I will use a combination of few more functions, which I'll show you. So first of all, I'm going to use the trim function. So I'm using trim function to trim all the unwanted spaces from the cells. And I'm going to specify the entire range. And it returns an array with all the names that I have in the column A. Now, now I'm going to specify the length function. I'm going to wrap the trim function with. And it returns an array of count of characters. Now you can see, even though I have a blank space here, it returns zero for this. And let me quickly show you if I use length function, just length function without using trim function, I'll have character one here. That means this formula, this length function is counting this white space, but this, when I use trim function with length, it removes that white space. So I'm going to base my formula on it. Now I'm going to specify a condition to only take values where the count of characters is above zero. That means there is a name. And now I have true and false according to the condition. Now the next thing is to convert these true and false values into 1 or 0. So for this I'm going to use double minus i. And now I'm going to wrap this formula with some product. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify this range also because this is the range where I have actual values that I want to sum and now I'm going to hit enter. So this is the actual sum of known blank cells. Now let me quickly show you how this formula actually works. So when you use trim function it returns all the values from the range after removing the white spaces and then len function returns the count of characters that you have in each of the cells. And then, using the condition, it returns true and false based on the condition. And in the end, the double minus sign convert true and false into 1 and 0. Now, in the end, we have two arrays. One is this and one is where I have all the values. When you multiply this array with this array, you only get values where you have one. That means only for the non-blank cells. And in the end, sum product, sum all those values and give you a sum of all the non-blank cells.